Your pet demon you know speaks to you daily. Talk? Did you know that spirits actually influence you by way of speaking to you? Sometimes when I do deliverance and sometimes when I'm talking to people, I can detect exactly what spirit is like dominant. OK, so sometimes when people are very prideful, I'll tell that person that spirit of pride on you is very loud because that spirit talks very loud. But I want us to look up the definition of what a spirit is. Spirit, the non-physical part of a person, which is the seat of emotions and character, the soul. These qualities regarded as forming the, def the definite or typical elements in the character of a person. This is a very, 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 very revelatory scripture, and it ties into what I'm teaching. So let's just talk about the wonderful Apostle Paul. And let's go to verse 14. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are you? So this can be found in Mark 5, and this is um, the evil spirit speaking to Jesus. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself. He was like in a cave. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Isn't that interesting? This man had a legion of demons. But it says, but when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of that man you unclean spirit and he asked him what is thy name and he answered saying my name is legion for we are many oftentimes when people are oppressed spiritually it is extremely loud when you get a spirit of fear cast out of you please understand that the spirit of fear gets cast out but that spirit of fear is going to tiptoe and going to it's going to try to come back how does that happen? By influence. Demons do not have the power over you, okay? I want you to understand that because if Lucifer could have killed you, he would have done it a long time ago. Demons have to influence you, okay? Once that seed is planted, if he plants enough seeds, if those demons plants enough seeds and you begin to feed off of that fear, then you just opens yourself up for destruction. Okay? So spirits are talking to you. So what you have to do is cast down every imagination that exhausts itself against the true knowledge of God daily in Jesus name.